Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by James from MySmartAtHome.com In this video I'm going to be focusing on the question Do smart thermostats save you money? This is a long presentation and so to make it easier to read I've split it into sections. To move between the sections click on the timings listed below this video. Section 1 is the, all about the case for saving money. Section 2 is all about difficulties and misconceptions people have about thermostats. Section 3 is all about what is a smart thermostat. Section 4 is all about the special features that the smart thermostats have. Section 5 is about your alternatives if you don't want a smart thermostat. Section 6, six is all about the official figures and advice to do with energy saving and how much they cost. Section 7 is questions you need to ask yourself before you buy a smart thermostat. And Section 8 is all about rebates. Okay, Section 1, the case for saving money. Heating, ventilations and cooling systems are responsible for the major parts of energy consumption in every home. These account for roughly 43% of residential energy consumption in the United States and it's even more in consumptions with colder climates. This consumption can be greatly reduced if the heat vac system is turned off when residents do not need them, like when they are sleeping or when they're away. Section 2 is about difficulties and misconceptions. Residents are unlikely to adjust their thermostat several times every day. In 2011, a survey showed that the majority of users confessed to never programming their thermostats and 90% said they'd never altered the programs that came with the thermostats when they bought them. Also, people find, programming thermos or people find programmable thermostats hard to use. They're as difficult to understand as TV remote controls and this can result in higher energy consumption than in cases of non-programmable thermostats. Homeowners wrongly think that the reduction in energy consumption will not make a big difference in their bills. However, even a small reduction in energy consumption could lead to a saving of more than 100 billion kilowatts on the national scale. The result is saving around $15 billion every year and preventing the release of more than a billion tons of pollutants into the air annually. So what is a smart thermostat? A smart thermostat is an example of a smart device and a smart device is an everyday household gadget that can, can connect to the internet. Examples of smart devices include doorbells, door locks and security cameras. Connecting to the internet gives smart devices special powers. And a smart thermostat special powers Firstly, it can interact with other devices in a smart home. For instance, a smart thermostat can start a set of lights. A smart thermostat can start as a set of lights is switched on. Two, it can be controlled remotely. A smart thermostat can be controlled via a smartphone from the other side of the room or the other side of the world. Three, it provides you energy reports. A smart thermostat can provide lots of details about how much energy you are using and when. 4. It can be turned on and off by magic. Well, almost. Some smart thermostats use a technology called, called geofencing, which is drawing a virtual fence around your house, and it then uses GPS to track your phone, and as you cross the fence, the thermostat is turned on or off. Number five, smart thermostats are modern pieces of art and they can almost cost as much. Number six, look, no programming. Most smart thermostats need to be programmed. You need to tell them what temperature you like at what time. The Nest 3 uses a feature called auto tracking. If you use it straight out of the box and adjust the temperature so that you are always comfortable, the Nest 3 remembers the times and the temperatures and then from this creates your own schedule. Number 7. Set it to 65. Many smart thermostats can now be controlled just using your voice, using systems such as Alexa or Google Home. Smart thermostats the alternatives. 
If you need a new thermostat but don't fancy buying a smart one, then there are plenty of alternatives. There are two other main types of thermostats. Firstly is non-programmable and secondly is programmable. Both types are cheaper than a smart thermostat. A smart thermostat, remember, is just a highly sophisticated type of programmable thermostat. Non-programmable thermostats these thermostats only have the capability to change the current temperature and you can't set up a program and a schedule of times. They are very plain looking, have digital displays and temperature up and down buttons and the best selling one on Amazon at the moment costs just over $31. Programmable thermostats allow a user to set up schedules for weekdays and the weekend. A schedule consists of a time period and a target temperature. Again, they're very plain looking, have digital displays and more buttons. A best selling one on Amazon costs just over $45. What the manufacturers say about energy savings. Ecobee believe that by using one of their smart thermostats, it could save you 23% per year on your bills. Nest believe that by using one of their thermostats you could save 10 to 12 percent on heating and up to 15 percent on cooling. If every US household bought an Energy Star rated thermostat savings of 740 million dollars could be made nationally. And so will a smart thermostat save me money? Now let's get back to our main question. Will smart thermostats save you money? This is an important question you need to ask yourself before investing in a smart thermostat. They have a number of amazing features or special powers which were looked at earlier, but they are far more expensive than a standard programmable thermostat, and they don't save you money if you're just going to start using them out of the box. You need to put effort in to program it to suit your personal needs and with high, half an eye on saving energy. Before you purchase a smart thermostat, ask yourself these questions. Do you like looking at data and changing your behaviour? If you're fascinated by information and how you can use it to make your life better, then get a smart thermostat. Have you checked with your local power company? Because they might contribute to the cost of buying one via a rebate, and I'll talk about this later. Do you like playing with gadgets and are you comfortable with technology? If you are, then buy one, because you can mess around with a smart thermostat to your heart's content. Looking at the special powers that we talked about earlier, do you need any, any of these? If not, don't buy one. Another question to ask is how long will you be living in the house? It's pointless installing a smart thermostat if you're planning to move soon. They do take quite a bit of time to install and uninstall. Who will install the, the thermostat? Smart thermostats are expensive enough. If you're buying one to save money, install it yourself. The leading brands have step-by-step -step instructions, videos and technical support to help with installation. The final section is rebates for smart thermostats. What is better than buying your own smart thermostat is getting someone else to buy it for you or contributing towards the cost. Rebates are available through your local power or energy supplier. The federal or state governments don't offer rebates. The situation is constantly changing. New offers are always starting and old offers are always ending. Contact your local power company to ask about current availability or you can check at this address here from the smartcave.com. And that's it. Thank you for watching my video all about can smart thermostats save you money. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope it helps you to make up your mind about buying your next smart thermostat.